freaking you, baby. Hey there, dude. Got Mr. Kilo right here. He's hungry. Everybody's real hungry today. So today, we're just getting everything ready. I got a tattoo convention in Tampa this weekend. So we're just feeding everything, making sure everybody's got their waters topped off. Oh, these guys are, oh, are you mad little guy? Just striking at the glass? Dude, these insulators are getting huge. I absolutely love them, man. So uh, yeah, I'm thawing out. I got some rabbits thawing out right now. I got a jumbo rat thawing out. We got some large rats for Kilo, large rats for the indigo. We're gonna feed a couple things today. Simple little video. I know you guys haven't seen, I don't think we've done a rattlesnake video in a minute, so I figured we would take them out, show you how their weight is doing, how big they're getting, how chill they still are. We got these psychopathic mambas. Gotta water all their plants and stuff today. Just get a little couple things ready, and then we're, we're off to Tampa. I'm actually diving tomorrow. Me, Alex, Jake, and Randy. We got all the homies going on the boat tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a little boat dive party, and then I'm driving up to Tampa. So it's gonna be a fun weekend. I think I'm gonna film over at this tattoo expo. I'm not really sure how this expo is supposed to be. It's kind of sounds like it's a little on the ghetto side. The more I talk to this guy about this throwing the convention, hopefully he doesn't watch my channel. But uh, yeah, it's not the most professional thing in the world. So I'm not really. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might have to. I might have to find somewhere else to tattoo. My buddy Travis has a sweet, sweet house that I might just tattoo there. That honestly might be better for making videos too because tattoo conventions are absolutely crazy. They're gonna be playing music in the background, so I can't really use any of that stuff. <sighs> Whatever, I'm just rambling. All right, I'm gonna go grab the food for these guys. Actually, I'm gonna take the rattlesnakes out first, show you guys how they are doing. Maybe take Mr. Kilo out also because he wants to he wants to come play today too. So let's go, let's get all this stuff done. All right, so first things first, let's get these snakes out. You see that, look. They're so like, their food response is crazy sometimes, especially when they're hungry. Now it's probably been a good 10 days, 12 days since they ate last. Obviously these guys eat bigger meals, so I do not feed them as often. But we like to separate them. It's a little bit easier to feed them when they're separated. Check out the female. How you doing, sweetheart? Oh, you're gonna rattle while I'm holding you today? Doing great. Their body weight is awesome. Like she is a great size. Her weight is fantastic. Remember when I first got them, you can almost see on the edges along her spine, she almost had like bulges on the edges just cause she was a little bit overweight, but now she's doing absolutely great. Beautiful, she just said, she just shed a couple weeks ago. So she's doing great. We're gonna give her a jumbo rat today. So we're just gonna go ahead and separate them. We're gonna put her in here. She likes to rattle once I put her into things. And then my boy, Batman, let's see how you're acting today. Nice, per usual. Same thing with him, man. Like, dude, look how thick he is. It's like almost as thick as my arm. It's crazy. Like this. Got wrestle, man. It's like dealing with a freaking python right here, man. Which is a big ass rattle python. Look at this guy. Such an impressive freaking animal. It's crazy. Let's go ahead and turn him around like this. Looks like he pooped on himself a little bit. Look at all this poop on him. Oh, hey, go. Look at this big guy, man. Dude, he's just, it's just so impressive, man, to have a big rattlesnake like this be so freaking chill and docile. The way that he moves, he's not very aggressive. He doesn't really ever put his head down or strike. He still has never struck at me. He has a little bit of a feeding response, but that's totally normal with an animal, especially when they smell that you're defrosting food. The smell goes out throughout the house. Their smell is absolutely fantastic on these things. In the wild, they can bite their prey, and then their prey can run off, and it takes a few minutes for them to die, and their smell is so great that they can track their prey down and find out wherever they die, and then they can eat them. So it's not like a constrictor where they grab the prey and they keep it in the vicinity of where they're at. They bite the animal, the venom has to work in, the animal is gonna run around and die, so they have to be able to track that animal in order to eat it. So the sense of smell on these animals is freaking fantastic. But just look how beautiful he is. Oh, Batman, you're fantastic, dude. So I'm gonna put him back in his cage, though. 
we're gonna feed him in the cage. Just because he's got plenty of room in here. He's too big to put in that bin. So we're just gonna let him go in there. Man, dude, what a beautiful snake. It's so crazy. He is huge, man. Ah, oh, God, I love him. So, now that we got them situated, Kilo over here. Hey, dude. Woo, his cage is nice and warm. He's gonna be all fired up today, dude. Holy crap, he is so fired up. Dude, he is mad today. Super mad. So I gotta be very careful. It is in the middle of the day right now. Yeah, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. So all the heat lights in this room, everything is very hot in here. Like I'm sweating bullets right now. Their body temperature is obviously a little on the hotter side. So they're a little bit crazier. You know, during the, in the morning, when your snakes are nice and cool, or at, nice when or at night when they're cooled down, they're not as active. But during the middle of the day like this, where it's nice and warm in the room and everything is wide awake, dude, this snake, he is fired up. Normally, you know, Kilo's pretty well-mannered, but obviously today, you can see, he's been striking at Alex, being a little bit crazy, especially because he's hungry too. So we're not gonna mess with him too much, because obviously, he is not in a very good mood. Yeah, look at him, he's like, Dad, I'm gonna mess you up, Dad. I'll mess you up, bro. Relax, Keith. Relax. There, I'm gonna come jet over here. No? Okay. Not gonna mess with them anymore. Alright, so let's go grab all the food, feed everybody, and then that's it for today. We're just doing a little feeding video before I go out of town. Right? Figured, figured why not? We weren't gonna film it, but we, we need to. Last time we filmed Rusty eating and I was talking about the whole thing, about the cycler and stuff. I'm so happy my animals are back, man. That was just like. That was a shitty 24 hours this last weekend. Sunday was crap, but Monday everything turned out great. Now, yeah, I spent this, I woke up this morning, fed the rhino iguanas, I was just laying in the cage, petting Khaleesi. It was fantastic. So, let's go grab all this food and feed these guys. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Let's see. Get this good size little bunny foo foo. For Mr. Batman. Hey. Relax here, I'm gonna feed you here in a second. Get this guy to come over here, I'll show you. Oh yes, that's good. So now I just put it down like this, and then he'll go eat it. Now obviously you guys know from previous videos, he's a little bit on the shy side of eating, so we're just gonna go about our thing. All right, so now, Robin. Let's see how she is doing. Now, I thought I had a jumbo rack. I don't have a jumbo in the garage, so we're just going to feed her a couple of wires. There you go, see that? Just drop that in there like that. We're just going to meet her right to the side. We're going to leave it open. We're just going to let her do her thing like that. So, now, what else should we feed? So I'm going to give her a couple. So, I think I want to feed these other rattlesnakes. You see that? Crazy fishing thing. Boom, there we go. Get him in the cage. Go down like that. Close this thing. See ya later. Easy freaking peasy. I fed the Mambas ate the other day. Obviously, I didn't make a video. I was just in here cleaning the other day. But the Mambas that Dingo gave me. I think I'm going to name the male Dingo after Dingo. Just because I think that's kind of cool. I don't have any snakes named Dingo. The female, I don't really know what to name the female, so you guys want to comment down below what I should name this female Mambo, because I don't really know. I'm at, uh, that's going to be Dingo. So something, I don't know. Figure it out. We've got another rat right here we can give to someone taste it. We're going to give it to this little rattlesnake right down here. We're going here, this little female. There we go. That's a good size meal for her. Um, another we gotta feed is my indigo snake right here. He's in shed, so he might not eat. He might. Oh, yeah, he's gonna take. He's he's gonna eat. He always likes to come out of his cage like this. Look at this. He's like, dude. All right, look. Just can you go back in your cage, bro? Hey, sir. Sir, please. Sir, thank you. God. Why? Excuse me, sir. Out of control. And then I have this other large one right here. We're gonna wait for, uh, it looks like Robin. Yeah, see, Robin is uh, slowly eating that rat. So check it out, we got Robin. She just started to eat this guy. So maybe we can just stay here, safely on the edge of this box. And get some sweet shots of her eating. Woo! Dude, what a beautiful 
snake does. Look at the yellow and the diamonds on her. She's just absolutely beautiful, man. One of my favorite snakes, dude. I love these rattlesnakes. Look, look how beautiful that is. So impressive. Those teal scales, they're gigantic. They're literally the size of your fingernails. Such a impressive animal, man. Hey, look at that. Not that thing, man. Thing by thing, she just inches that rat right into her mouth. This is not a very big meal for her. Like I said before, I'm going to give her that other large rat that I have up top there. So we're just going to let her drop this thing down real fast. And then we're going to go ahead and give it away. Ooh, that thing is loud, man. That's a loud ass rattle. Holy crap. shot of him adjusting his freaking fangs. I always try to. It's hard. Sometimes he does it right away. Sometimes he doesn't. Let's see how today is though. Look at that. Big old belly man. Look at that. Woo! Big old rabbit in him man. That is a nice, fat, healthy, happy, Snake. Look at the scales on these guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Such a beautiful snake. It's crazy. Woo! Oh, I love it when they eat and their scales expand like that and you can see the skin right underneath. Just such an insane pattern, right? Look how freaking insane that looks. So impressive. He's nice and fat and happy. She's finishing up in the bin right now. Everything else is pretty good. We're just gonna top off some waters, clean some cages. We gotta go clean Tarouk's cage. Super exciting. Super exciting. It's a nightmare. Maybe we'll make a little video about how I have to do that now because it's an absolute. Getting her out in and out of those cages now is just like, it's terrible. I have to get all, I gotta put hoodies on and gloves on and it's crazy because she attacks me. Yeah, it's like, it's like moving a pterodactyl. It is like moving Seriously. a pterodactyl. She's freaking insane. And I haven't been able to take her into the bird store to go get her nails clipped and her, bird, and her beak trimmed because she's so freaking mean. And she freaks 
out when we do that. She gets even meaner. Every time I have to take her out and bring her to the store, it's just, it's an absolute nightmare. I'm not going to mumble on about her. That is it, guys. Just wanted to feed some stuff with you, make a sweet little video. Till next time, make sure, yo, you like these videos, you watch this channel all the time, make sure you subscribe, please. Let's get those subscribers up so we can, 400,000, we're going to have somebody come out here, we're going to go diving with them, we're going to show you all a good time. It's going to be great. can't believe it hasn't happened yet, honestly. I know! Well, we got we to gotta get back on it, bro. We've been slacking a little bit. Yeah. I, need to, I need to do some more YouTube stuff. Next year, I'm only tattooing three days a week so I can do more YouTube stuff. I'm already booked for this whole year, so next year, when I redo my booking and open my books up again, I'm only booking three days a week. I need to do any more than that. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm tattooed. So, till next time, guys. Appreciate you watching.